This video is brought to you by ASUS. Today, we're checking out the ASUS VivoBook 16X. This Windows 11 laptop offers a really strong uh, all-around value package. From the large 16-inch display, 12th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 512 gigabyte SSD, to the excellent ASUS ErgoSense keyboard and big trackpad all in a sharp looking design that comes in at an attractive price. Great if you're a, a student, business professional, or even content creator. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my experience using the VivoBook 16X as my main machine for the past weeks. And this video will cover everything you need to know. As always, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description. Starting off with the unboxing, uh, first, it is great to see ASUS using highly recyclable packaging, Lifting open the box reveals the VivoBook 16X wrapped in cloth. Underneath are the quick start guides, and then we have the powerful 90 watt charger for fast charging. And now let's get back to what matters most, and that is the 16X itself. Now it comes in two colors. Here I have the transparent silver, uh, which looks super sleek, and it also comes in this quiet blue, which is this dark blue color. Okay, so now that we have the laptop out of the box, let's take a closer look at the design. Now, the first thing that stood out to me with the uh, VivoBook 16X is for a 16 inch laptop, it is actually surprisingly thin and lightweight. It has a nice tapering design on the side and comes in at just 1.8 kilos or just under four pounds, which is lighter than most laptops of this size. And yet importantly, uh, for an all plastic build, it still feels solid in the hand with only minimal uh, keyboard flex. In terms of ports, we get a USB 3.2 Type-C port, two USB 3.2 ports, a full-size HDMI, USB 2.0, headphone and microphone and power port. As a content creator, I would have loved to see uh, an SD card slot, but still the 16X offers a wide range of ports. So when I started using this laptop, I immediately fell in love with the keyboard and touchpad. It has this uh, full-size ASUS ErgoSense keyboard, uh, as well as a full-size number pad, which is great for productivity, if say working in apps like Excel. Typing on the keyboard, the keys are stable with plenty of key travel and have a nice satisfying click. On top of that, it is also fully backlit, a must have for me, especially when typing up video scripts late at night. Beneath the keyboard sits the touchpad, which is nice and big, uh, and you can also get an optional fingerprint sensor built right in. The touchpad is smooth to scroll on, click and drag. I use it to edit photos in Lightroom and found it to be responsive and work well. Also, another cool feature uh, is that the entire top case area features ASUS's antibacterial guard to protect against harmful bacteria, which these days, more than ever, uh, is good to have. The built-in speakers are reasonably loud. Good for uh, Zoom conferencing, but for things like music uh, and movies, well, let's just say the clarity and depth leave some room for improvement. Above the display sits the 720p webcam, which will get the job done uh, with accurate skin tones, even in lower light conditions. And I especially like the built-in uh, webcam cover for instant privacy. But now let's talk about my favorite feature of the VivoBook 16X, and that is the display. It comes with a big 16 inch full HD LED display. I really like the uh, 16 by 10 aspect ratio as opposed to the standard 16 by nine aspect ratio as this gives more vertical screen space, which is especially great if you have uh, say two windows open side by side, for example, a Word document and a Chrome document. The display also folds all the way flat, making it easy to share content with others uh, while sitting around a table. The display also has an anti-glare coating, uh, which as you can see, does a pretty good job at blocking out the worst of the reflections, uh, including my studio lights that I have up above. Now combine this with the 600 nits of brightness, uh, mean that the display is bright enough for any indoor uh, situation. Colors are also great, far better compared to other Windows laptops that I've tried, especially at this price range. And this is great for uh, photo and video editing, creating that more immersive experience, uh, especially while gaming. Speaking of gaming, let's talk about performance. The Intel Core i5 processor with Iris graphics, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and 512 gigabyte PCIe SSD equate to solid performance, especially for the price. Now, this is not a gaming laptop, uh, but that's not to say that we can't try. So what I've done is I've set up a Game Pass and installed Forza 4 and was actually surprised at how well this ran. 
with dynamic render quality set to medium, I was able to get around 30 FPS. Again, looks especially great on that large 16 inch display. And then testing Minecraft, uh, this runs really well. With a render distance set to 23, I got around 60 to 90 FPS, a joy to play. Also, while gaming, uh, the 16X never got uncomfortably hot, only slightly warm at the bottom, uh, while the palm rests and keyboard stayed nice and cool. And this is thanks to Asus's ice cool technology, where the fans, while audible, uh, remain relatively quiet, even under heavy loads. For content creation, uh, editing photos in Lightroom, things feel quite snappy, as long as you're not working with too many layers and exports are fast. Again, this is where that large trackpad comes in especially handy. Where the 16X shines the most is in mixed day-to-day -day productivity tasks. With around seven or so apps open, uh, switching between documents, emails, watching videos, the VivoBook 16X keeps up well and performs above its weight class, providing a generally smooth experience. In terms of battery life, I would say this has been just above average, getting me around five to seven hours of use uh, with mixed productivity. But with more heavy tasks, uh, this goes down to three to four hours, which is not uncommon for laptops with larger displays, though it does charge nice and fast thanks to the powerful 90 watt charger. So at the end of the day, who is the Asus uh, VivoBook 16X4? Well, after testing and using the laptop for the past weeks, I can say that when it comes to the most important aspects of any laptop, uh, the display, design, keyboard, battery, and performance, the VivoBook 16X delivers. If you're looking for a well-priced uh, and solid all-around Windows 11 laptop for content consumption, content creation, uh, productivity, and even some light gaming, then the Asus VivoBook 16X is one I can definitely recommend. To learn more about the VivoBook 16X, be sure to click the links in the description. A big thank you to Asus for supporting the channel and thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.